from the image of the earthly so let us now bear the image of the heavenly nammal manninde prathimayai theernadu pole ippol namukku sorgiyante prathimayai maara it is now beloved people of god ippol namukku sorgiyante prathimayai maara now we need to bear the image of the heavenly ippol nam sorgiyante prathimayai maarenda many people want to bear the image of the heavenly after going into heaven But God's desire and longing is that we may bear the image of the heavenly now upon this earth. Now, I am agreeing in the divine thing that I am not speaking of. Now, I am saying that I am not 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 saying that. Head of this heavenly body is the Lord from heaven. So, beloved, let us cast aside that that all the way of thinking and teaching that we will go away. Then there will be, we will become like him. But it is here now that God wants to work upon. He wants to pay you. He wants to work on you and put some heavenlies into us. अतो वंदे नाम बारे मेरे माय पढ़ी चाहे तो मंसले वहाँ किन्ह माय कार्य इंगले नाम दूरे आ रहे जेठे नाम स्वर्ग के तिल चरण तिल शेष चमला इबड़े आये निकी बोल तब इन्हें अब इन्हें प्रथम ऐसे इन्हें प्रथम रूप उन धरी के इन्हें दान मतलब सत्य मन से लाके नाम की पुस्तिया जो तुम ने रा ओ बिलवर्ड ही इस कमिंग बैक फॉर अ ग्लोरियस ब्राइड अब इन्हें जो ग्लोरियस मनवाती क्यों नहीं मारा क्यों Heavenlies into us in these days. You know why people want to go away? They don't want to bear responsibility. They don't want to bear responsibility. If you say that we want to bear, or we shall bear the image of the heavenly that talks about a kind of disciplined life. It talks about responsibility. It talks about a discipline. It talks about a kind of love that will please and glorify God in our day-to-day life. Oh, many do not want to have that. That's what they say. Oh, he just told me that he was a gay person. अपने पोम जो कहेंगे, ओह, इस तरह, अपने पोम उन्नु मारा मोन ले, अपने पोए ले लाल मारो, beloved people of God, प्रिया देवी जने में, let us listen to God's righteous word, देवी वतन ने नहीं नहीं उल्लावाई ना तुम नमक सत्ता उड़ का, God's grace has to work upon us now, ये दव जंगल देवी या तुम्हारे नमरे नमरे प्रवर्ती के अंदर, what God has worked upon us now That is what will remain for all eternity in our life. They even number of people. If all people are thinking, if all people are thinking, then I am a brother. I am a Christian. They all are going to go and go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God is bringing forth in us now, it is eternal, beloved people of God. They even number of people. They are thinking that I am a Christian. 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 The property is here. The grace is to work on us now. It is now. There is nothing that grace can work beyond. We will allow Him to work now. It is now that the grace has to work. It is now we need to be changed. And whatever area God has worked, that will remain for all eternity. Oh, beloved people of God. The work of God in us is not temporal. But the work of God in us is permanent work. It is an eternal work. That is why God is very, very clear about it. But there need to be a strong work and hand of God that need to come upon us. Oh, let us yield our lives to the Lord. Let us not be in a hurry to go away. Like many, many people. But let us be those who cry out unto God and say, Lord, make me a paved way. Lord, make me a deeper. 
He will make them his dwelling. Oh, that is the feet of the Lord. Something is becoming glorious. And I am excited with that thought in my heart. That really challenges my heart. That the fables, the stories and the theologies of men will fail. But the word of God will last forever. In closing, let me tell you one incident. Just to establish the truth of God's word. In the book of Matthew chapter 24, we read the Lord saying about the temple. Lord Jesus said, one stone upon the other shall not remain. Many could not believe it. And exactly after 70 years, when Titus the emperor came, or the, 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 the general came, he conquered that area. He burnt down the temple. And one of the historians writes like this, that the gold was melted, you know, uh, in the temple. Ah. The temple in those days, the buildings were not built like this with cement. They bring the stones and they are held together through a notch. Yeah, that's how the building is built. Heavy, heavy stones they are. So the historian says the gold melted and went into the stones. And when the soldiers saw all the gold, it says that they removed one stone from the other. And they gathered all the gold. And the historian says, one stone upon the other did not remain. But the Hebrews could not believe it. Many Jews in those days could not believe. Not only the word of God 
says, Let not your flight be in the winter. And it is so happened. And the scripture says, Let it not be in the winter time. And it so happened, the historian says. And not only that, the history says, Not one true believer was destroyed when the, the, the city was burned down. You know why? They believed in what Jesus said. Therefore they left Jerusalem. They believed in God's word. God's word came to pass. God's word came to pass. Beloved brothers and sisters, if there are people with unbelief in their hearts, that will take them only to a place of confusion and discouragement. But if you can believe what Jesus is saying, oh, they will prepare their hearts and lives in these days. Let God be true and every man be a liar. Let his word be fulfilled in our lives. He is coming back for a glorious day. There is something that is becoming wider and purer and glorious at the feet of the Lord. Let it be our life and your life. Let it be so true in our lives. Lord, make me yet, yet, yet holy. He that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Let us cry out unto God specifically. Lord, work upon me. In the land of promise, let me be a stranger. A pilgrim. Look beyond the blessings in life. Lord, dig deeper into my life. Let me bear the image of the heavenly. Together as a body of people. In Tichu, in Delhi, in Salem, in Bangalore, in Coimbatore, wherever God has placed us. Oh, let us bear the image of the heaven. Even as the head is the Lord from heaven. Let us also bear the image of the heaven. We who are the body of Christ. Shall we all stand up in the presence of God? Hallelujah. God's word is true, beloved. Many cannot accept. Even as in the days of Jesus. Let us believe his word. His work is eternal. Whatever work the Lord can do today in our lives. That is the only thing that God can do upon us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, therefore, work upon me. Make me a man of discipline. A man of responsibility. A man who will bear responsibility. A man who is accountable. Hallelujah. Work upon me, Lord. Dig me deeper in these days. Dig me deeper in these days. Work upon me. Lord, put in some heavenlies into my life today. Lord, I cry to you today. Even as that man cried out unto you. Lord, I want to seek you today. Enough are the days and the time that I have wasted in my life. My attitudes were different. I was a man with fifty mind. But Lord, today we want to come to you. Work upon me, Lord. Let me be a paved in road for your kingdom to come upon me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I give myself to you right now. I want to be occupied with you. 
I leave all else behind and concentrate my being on you alone. Lord, you are my focus. You To you right now, Lord, you are my focus, you are my goal, Lord, I give myself to you right now. Lord, I give myself to you. Right now, I want to be occupied with you. I leave all else behind and concentrate my being on you alone. I give myself. 